Holy shit. Okay, that's okay. So that's a lot to take in. Okay, so a lot to take in. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. A lot to take in. Holy fucking shit. Okay, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we're going to break this down. We're going to break this down. There's a lot to take in here. There's a lot to take in here. Holy, 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 holy fuck. Okay. All right. I, I, had, to let, I had to let that out. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a regular ass person. I'm a regular ass person. Okay. All right. So we're going to break this down here. Um, there's a lot to take in here. So we already know the release date. They show the release date towards the end of the trailer. This is beautifully made, beautifully made trailer. Um, so it's going to be coming out October 28th. So it's going to be coming out October 28th. So I, I had a feeling it was going to come out close to Halloween, but it's like, yeah, so it's going to be October 28th. My question is if there's going to, if they're going to release a, <laughs> a Bayonetta 3 Direct, because they did a specific Direct for when close to Bayonetta 2's release. So I think that was around during the summer, I believe. I believe. But uh, yeah, there's a lot to take in here. So, so, so let's take a look here. Let's absolutely take a look here. Now, first off, when I saw these, I immediately thought Warframe, you know, with the with the, with with I believe Excalibur, but those enemies could look a, look like a th these look really cool. They kind of look like a mix between like you know like your average Warframe and like a, I don't know like nobodies from Kingdom Hearts. And uh, here's the thing: I'm not sure is she. I can't tell if. Because I know, unfortunately, Brianna Taylor, uh, she mentioned that uh, uh, she wouldn't be voicing Bayonetta uh, anymore. I, I wonder if, that, I, I, I wonder why, because that, that's kind of unfortunate, and I wonder why there's a new voice actor. I just wonder why she's not voicing it, if this is her voice. I still can't tell. It would be a shame, because Brianna Taylor did a... Uh, Brianna Taylor did an ex excellent voice of Cereza, um, but, um, but anyway, let's keep, let's keep moving on here. Ah, uh, uh, Cereza, Bayonetta looking, okay, so I got, okay, so the new guns, so, okay, so is there a name? Color My World, okay, so if you take a look, if you take a look at the, 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 the name of the guns here, um, yeah, so it's called Color My World. Now, this was, this was actually teased um in the first trailer but a lot of people maybe didn't realize it but if you notice the guns here this this is gonna be the new game name of her guns which her guns look so cool so so we got the first game first game her her guns were her guns were named scoreboard affair second game for all for all you that know the game their her guns were named love is blue now they're named color my world which honestly is so good oh and this theme this theme oh my god this this theme is so good oh my goodness um but uh yeah it seems like she's in new york city um these i can't tell if these are demons or not uh, uh, demons or something like that i know they mentioned later on the trailer they mentioned like man-made stuff so are these like androids like man-made stuff i can't tell Oh, uh, the, 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 the animations, everything looking crisp as usual, as expected, you know, from, from a Bayonetta game. This is already looking to be surpassing, oh my goodness, this is looking to be like a perfect trilogy. Like, the, the games, like, Bayonetta 2 surpassed Bayonetta 1 in every single way. It seems like Bayonetta 3 is going to do the same thing, surpassing Bayonetta 2 in every single way. And then look at fucking Rodan. Look at the drip, at least from what I can see so far. Look at the fucking drip. Look at that man. And look at the brass knuckles. Locals. And look at the sexy voice. Holy fucking shit. As, a, as Rodan always has. Imagine Rodan doing ASMR. Uh, imagine that. Like, like Gates of Hell. ASMR. <laughs> imagine that. In other words. And then look at Enzo's drip too. Like, look, look at that. Look at the hat. And look at the, at least from what I can see so far, the jacket. Look at the drip. Rodan? Oh my god. And then look at Luca being, having drip as usual from the first two games, and the beard. Look at the beard with that dude. Look, look like a whole giga Chad. Oh, okay, I love that. I, I love that when Bayonetta kind of shows, you know, Madama Butterfly. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's really, really sick. A bit of fancy dress is in order. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's Brianna Taylor. I mean, that's a shame. I mean, the new voice actor sounds really, really good. It sounds really, really good. Um, but um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why she 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 isn't voicing Bayonetta anymore. I I wonder why. But anyway, let's go. Let's move on. Yeah, we got. No, I'm a botify here. Okay. Wait. So okay. Wait. Hold on. Okay. So I missed this here. Okay, so she summons Madonna. Okay, so she summons Madama Butterfly. She summons Madama Butterfly, and uh, it seems like, yeah. So yeah, so it seems like she kind of. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like she kinds of uh, she kind of merges with her and like transforms into Madama Butterfly. Yeah, absolutely. So it seems like, and they teased this earlier. It seems like you can transform. You can summon. Yeah, there we go. Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so it seems like you can you can you can actually transform like merging with your summons like Madama Butterfly Gamora and you can you can do different abilities. So that's sick. Not only kaiju battles with your uh, with the with the demon summons, but you can also like transform transformations merging with like your your uh, the summons. That's so sick. That is so sick. On oh, this music. Oh my god, I can't wait to hear the music of Bayonetta 3. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my god. It's bad enough. Oh my god. Holy shit. Thank you. What is that? Now, what is this? Now, what is this? Now, what is this? Now, what is this? Okay, so. Uh, it, it seems like some sort of conduit sort of thing. I think, I believe that's the eye. I think that's the left eye. That has to be the left eye. So is this supposed to be a conduit to hold the eyes of the world? Maybe? I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Because I believe that's the left eye. Wait, no, no, no. That actually might be the right eye. I, I can't. I believe it's the, le uh, the left or the right eye. I, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm sorry. But... Thank you, Professor. Professor? Now, who do you mean by Professor? Oh, wait. Is it talking about Rodana? I love it. Is it can do platforming too with with the damn demon summons? That is so sick. And of course, the kaiju battles. Oh, look at Madama Butterfly. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. And what is that? okay? So here's here's the thing. Like, what is this train? And who is this? Okay. Okay. Wait. So who is this? Okay. So. Number one, you, that's clearly an Umbra Witch, because you can tell she has the heart of an Umbra Witch, like, right fucking there. So, actually, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I hear Brianna Taylor's voice? I believe you two have already met. Whoa, is that Brianna Taylor's voice? Wait a minute. Whoa, hold on, wait. Is that Bayonetta? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that Bayonetta? Wait, I'm kidding. Wait. 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 Okay. I, 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 okay, so I, I'm... Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay. So either this is a new Umber Witch character... Or this is Bayonetta in, like, another timeline? Or maybe the Bayonetta that we play is an alternate timeline, younger Bayonetta? I, I, no, I, that has, makes no sense. I don't know. All I know is that I think I heard Brianna Taylor's voice. Is she voicing this character? I, I, this has to be either... Actually, no, I can't tell. Actually, no, I can't tell. Actually, no, I can't tell. Okay, well, either... I, I can't tell if that's Brianna Taylor's voice doing, like, a higher-pitched voice. I, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out. But... I think this is either... I think this might be a new character. I think this might be a new character. I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go on the limb saying this is gonna be a new character until we have confirmation. So, but this new Umber Witch character looks sick. She has, she has like, battle scars... 
like battle scars and she has and her one eye is covered um and uh and, and i love the ponytails holy shit and the red and, and the red armor with, the, with with her look too Yeah, I don't think that's Brianna Taylor. Uh, but it seems like a... But, uh, okay, so this might be a new character. It says, this world is under my protection. So does this mean, like, you travel to different worlds? Or you travel to, like, a different timeline? And what is that? Oh, my God. These on-rails with the... <laughs> oh, my God. The action sequence with Bayonetta has always been insane. This is going to be no different. Fucking hell. With the train, too? Oh, my God. Now, she... Hum okay, so homunculi, man-made bioweapons. Okay, so these are, I guess, those villains that we've been, these enemies that we've been seeing. So, man-made bioweapons. So, these are neither angels nor demons. So, these are basically, yeah, wow. They have the look of these, these angels, but they're not. So, they're man-made bioweapons. Interesting. Look, we don't have time. If we don't stop them, this world is history. Okay, so who is she? so okay? So her name's Viola. Now, the, I get the vibe of her as a like female Nero. She, if we know it gets wiped out for good. Now, okay, so I, I'm immediately getting like female Nero vibes, like legit female Nero vibes. She has like she has that that punk that that punk rock look. She has like, that that punk rock look, but she has that she has a view of like like Nero. I'm getting major Nero vibes. Obviously, without the. That the, what that the devil bringer or the devil breaker and what do you expect us to do and this means so you to find a scientist named sigurd okay so a scientist named sigurd and apparently you can play as this new character which is interesting he's somewhere in this world and he can help us whoa okay wait a minute okay so apparently Yo, okay, so she can. Okay. She has she has this flame. She has this katana, obviously. And whoa, okay, so that was so she she can summon demons too. Wait, so is she is she part Umbra witch? Is she like a is she like a hybrid? I'm curious about who Viola is, because it seems like she's using a villain. She's using a villain. She's using this. She's using a weapon to summon these uh, these demons. Okay, well, and then she, yeah, she can. She she's using like a yeah. I'm getting like very. She's, I'm getting like Nero vibes with her. I'm getting like extreme Nero vibes. And using this this demon to like summon. I'm curious. Oh, yep, and there's Jean. Okay, so I'm a, I'm assuming so obviously now number one, the drip with the drip with that we come and oh look at that drip with Jean, look at that drip with Jean, look at that, oh, ah so sick oh, I love it, so I'm assuming this is Sigurd, so Via says Viola sent sent Jean to find her, so I'm assuming this is Sigurd, this this scientist. Looking for a way to be what? Healthiers? I I can't wait. I I gotta turn on captions. I don't even know what this person's saying. Captions aren't saying anything. Healthy healthiers? I I, I okay. Uh, the captions aren't helping me. Uh, but I'm assuming that was Sigurd, so I'm really curious about who that is and who Viola is, because Viola, I'm guess I'm I'm get so Viola so far, she's cool. I'm getting like female Nero, but we can summon like summon like demons from hell, because I'm like oh my god. Have we met before? Yep. There's Luca. Right, yep, and there's Luca, and it's like and she's with Viola. Oh, oh, wait a minute. 
Okay, hold on. 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 Okay, so. So, 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 so. Okay, so. Are they in Fimbleventer? Are they, so are they, are they, are they traveling to Fimbleventer, Fimbleventer here? Is it him? It's like the, 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 the giant snow mountain at, in Bayonetta 2. Okay, so here's one thing that's really, really cool. So apparently, she's, uh, it seems like she's moving during witch time. Yeah, I love she has like that punk, uh, that punk rock, like, look, look with her. Uh, it's like, okay, yeah, so it's apparently she's like, I, I guess John, I guess John somehow activated, okay, so, well, so, okay, so John, okay, so, so John activated witch time, and it looks like, it looks like that she's moving during witch time, so is she, like, part Umbra witch? Is she, like, part Umbra witch? Kitty. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so is she part Umber Witch? That, uh, uh, she has to be part something, because she has to be, she has to have some level of power to just move, literally move during, literally move during, oh wait, oh wait, is she using Witch Time? So is Jean teaching her Witch Time? So is she part Umber Witch? So I mean I I guess I guess I guess in this scene here she's teaching her witch time and she's like she's like shoot like shooting like shooting down bullets. So I'm guessing Jean's taking her under her protege. Jean's taking Viola under her under as a protege. So is she like part Umber Witch? That's so interesting. Oh this music. Yeah, I'm getting like female Nero vibes. And that's his tease, like, October 28th. And, oh, so sick. Oh, the music's gonna be so sick. Oh, what is that? What is that demon? Oh, wait, what is that demon? Whoa, okay, so... Ha I'm assuming this is a new demon. Okay, so that demon has, like, a constellation on its chest. It looks like a chimera? It looks like a giant demon chimera with, like, Madama Butterfly... Uh, decals. And, uh, as, you, as you notice here with the under- with the- with the, the- the constellation on its chest. So what kind of- uh, you see the moon here, what kind of demon is that? Oh my god. Like what kind of demon is that? I I'm curious. Wait, wait, did I hear Brianna Taylor's voice? I'm so confused. I heard Brianna Taylor's voice. What? I can't even tell if she's gonna be in the game or not. I, I know, I'm so confused with that. I mean, we're gonna find out officially later on whether or not Brianna Taylor either is reprising her role as Bayonetta. I don't think she I don't think she is. I think this is a new voice actor. Or is she going to be voicing is is he, is is Bayonetta gonna be in but like a Bayonetta in another timeline? I don't know what kind of twists this game's gonna have. You know, Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 1, they've had their twists. So Yep, the usual usual credits. Yep, and then October twenty eighth, the, re the release date. Okay, so I'm assuming yeah, so there's Viola here, so I'm assuming she can only summon one demon. I think that's the demon that is kind of with her. I'm assuming. <sighs> okay, all right, so yeah, so that was so that was a uh, that was holy shit. So October twenty eighth. That's when we're going to be getting Bayonetta 3. Um, so fucking sick. So fucking sick. I wonder if they're going to do... I, I, I think if memory serves me correct. With Bayonetta 2's trailer. With, well, with Bayonetta 2's direct last year. They, they did it like, a, I think a month or two before uh, the release of Bayonetta 2. If tradition falls through, I think we're going to be getting a Bayonetta specific direct later on in the year closer to October. I, I, I think that's going to happen. I think that's absolutely going to happen. 
Um, it might happen sooner rather than later. It might happen towards the end of the summer. I don't know, but I, I think a Bayonetta three direct is inevitable. I, I think we're going to, I think we're going to know that. But that was a lot to unpack. I mean, obviously, new ways to summon. Apparently, you could transform. You could actually transform. Um, utilizing your summons because you, you saw like here like bayonetta like I, I, i'll go to uh you saw right here like bayonetta here cereza literally merging with madama butterfly as like a transformation sort of thing so it's like they become one it's like they become one and you transform as madama butterfly uh, to, uh, you know, you, you get what I mean. So you can you can you can transform with your demons, merging with your demons to become more powerful, which is it have have new abilities, which is fucking sick. Uh, obviously, the kaiju battles you can have with the demons is also going to be very very sick. Um, and um, it seems like we have a new character, Viola. She gives me like female Nero vibes. Um, and it seems like she's part Umber Witch because it uh, seems with the trailer that we've seen so far, it seems like she can do witch time. It seems we saw like Jean here teaching. Um, uh, hold on. It seems like there's a. Yeah, so you see this scene here. Literally, uh, uh, literally her like you like utilizing. It seems like she's using witch time. So it seems like Jean is teaching her. So I'm guessing she's she's gonna be the Nero of the series because it seems like she's teaching her. She's teaching her witch time. <clears throat> so I'm curious now. Who is she really? Who is Viola really? Is she is she going to be is she is she is she basically like is she the daughter of Jean? Is she the daughter of Jean? Is Kamiya is is Kamiya, uh, Kamiya pu pulling a devil may cry a devil may cry. Cuz for those of you that don't know Nero is the son of Virgil. Is she the son of uh, uh, is she the daughter? Oh my god, the son. Is she the daughter of Jean? I'm gonna bet she is. If I'm a betting man, I'm gonna bet Viola is going to be the son. The son. The daughter of uh, Jean. That's gonna be my prediction. She's Jean's daughter from the future or something like that. Maybe she's from a future or from another timeline. I mean, I, I I don't know. Apparently, these hom homunculi. Lesson one: Carelessness will get your tail snipped. Look, we don't. Who is it? They're homunculi. Yeah, homunculi. Man-made bioweapons. Okay, so they're man-made bioweapons. So is she? Is this from like another timeline or or something like that? I I don't. I don't know, but we'll have to find, we'll, we'll definitely find out later on, but, but, uh, yeah, but anyway, okay, so, uh, I don't want to keep this going on too long, but yeah, there's a lot to pack in here, um, this is gonna be sick, October 28th, Bayonet 3 is gonna be, uh, gonna be coming out, um, I guess the TLDR, um, her, uh, Bayonetta's new guns, um, are named Color, Color My World, which is sick, new theme, uh, we, we got a, we got a glimpse of the new music, which is gonna, which is sick as always, um and um uh, obvi we obviously we had new mechan we got a uh, new mechanics um with uh with bayonetta literally merging with uh, her summons her demons to become more powerful and unlock new abilities and stuff like that along with the kaiju battles with those demons so that's gonna be so that's that so that's gonna be sick um viola she's a new character you can play as her um uh, i'm my my guess is she is uh she i uh, she's she's from like a future or something like that like a future timeline, he's going to take like a future trunks um, approach. I'm assuming we see these here, these homunculi. These are the new, new, the new uh, villains. Well, the new, the new um, enemy, uh, new, the new enemies. You know, along with I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're, I, I'm assuming we're going to fight angels and demons as well. <clears throat> um, so along with these man-made bio weapons, um, as you can see there um and uh yeah um um enzo and rodan have new drip everyone has new drip if you see jean, like jean here later on and i i, I gotta I, I i gotta point this out the, the new drip with jean is absolutely yeah it's, i think it's around here i think it's around here look at that 
That I gotta draw that. Holy fucking shit! Look at Jean. That is so sick. That is so sick. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, she gives off this Corella Deville like type. Ty- she gives off this Corella Deville like, like type of look, and it just works because she's fucking Jean. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I love it so much. Um, we actually got another new character um, in the form of... It seems like this is brand new Umbra Witch. Now, at first I thought, is this Bayonetta from another timeline? I believe you two have already met. But it seems like... It seems like I it, I can't tell it's because it, it's either it's either bayonet it's either bayonetta from like another timeline I don't know if they're doing do like time travel or stuff like that <coughs> this trailer's hinting at it but it's either bayonetta or this is a brand new Umbra Witch character because I, uh, I I'm gonna go on the limb until we have confirmation that this is probably a brand new brand new Umbra Witch character which is sick so that means. There is a there is another Umber Witch who survived that who survived that war. Um, so there was another Umber Witch who survived besides besides Bayonetta and John. So it turns out they aren't the only ones. They weren't the only ones. There are the only, only Umber Witches who survived besides those two. So that's gonna be so that so I'm really curious to see that she looks cool. She, her design is absolutely sick. She gives off this like this like this like Chinese female warlord, well, uh, like warlord, war lady, uh, vibe, and the ponytails. It's like, oh my god. Let's go. This world is under my protection. Okay, so this world is under, and she says this world is under my protection. Uh, so I'm assuming this is like she travels to like a different world, or is this like a is is there time travel? Mom? This this is kind of hinting that yeah, there's time travel involved, but how in the context of it? Well, obviously we'll have to wait later on for more information. But but yeah, I don't want to keep this going on too long. Um, so obviously we have that. Um, um, and uh, everyone's looking sick, Luca and everything. Viola, basically female Nero. My prediction is, as I said earlier, she's going to be uh, the daughter of Jean. That's my guess. The fact that she can do witch time and she can summon at least the one demon that she that's with her. Um, her her move set looks sick. She she looks absolutely sick. But like she's basically female Nero, and I love it. It works. It works. Um, uh, but uh, yeah. And then of course we got the re- at least date. I'm curious about this chimera-like demon that was like Madama Butterfly-like, you know, s- scales and stuff. But and uh, one more thing, and this music's so sick. I can't wait for the mu- I can't wait for the music. But one thing I want to point out before we end this vi- end this uh, video here. Is that Brianna Taylor's voice? It sounds like it, but I'm not too sure. Yep. And October 28th. Yeah, okay. So. I, that was my re- that was my reaction and breakdown. Um uh, thank y'all so much for thank y'all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like if you want if you like more of these. Uh, along with like, uh, uh, if, if you like this and uh, more, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that usual, usual plug in jazz. The name's Zekris Chan, uh, and uh, I'll see y'all later. I can't wait for this. My prediction is we're gonna get a direct later on this year. Uh, if I don't, uh, I will eat a shoe. I probably won't, but uh, I, we're probably gonna get a bait at a bait at a direct later on in the year before this game releases. So, but anyway, uh, take care. Um, y'all have a nice day. Name's Zekris Chan, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Ch-ch-chow and bye bye